Hey, everyone. Tonight's Adam Harris here, head of communications and storytelling. I'm at Westgate. I'm with Miriam and Bella. Say hi. Hi. I got wild hair for this interview, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they were just telling me. Okay, we're here to talk to Bella and Miriam. Bella just did a presentation. She has dyslexia. She did a presentation to her class to explain what it is. Um, Bella, can you tell us why you wanted to do this presentation? These kids think that it, it you're different and you think if you have dyslexia you think that you're gonna do it wrong and wrong and wrong but you aren't because it's better to be different actually it's fun too owning differences i love that okay can you tell us what dyslexia is it is a reading disorder or writing it dyslexia can be like with math or reading or writing but i have it with reading and writing so like it is like there's different markings to help you with reading and writing say that I put all the, like an X under and like an A for all the vowels and that's one of the markings. Okay, so it's like, like you just said an example, like you put A for all the vowels of words. It's just something that it, it doesn't click as quickly or easily for you with reading and writing. Okay, Miriam, what did you learn about that presentation? Well, I knew what dyslexia was, but I didn't know how they could like help themselves push through their disorder. Right. And you said something to me interesting too before, like it, it being about like a step back, I guess. Yeah, because um, it isn't really a disorder. It's just like pushing you back from learning. And then being aware of it, I'm sure, is such a helpful thing, right, Bella? Yeah. Okay. Um, how did it feel making this presentation? Like, like it was such a cool thing for you to do, to be able to like make this and say it in front of your How did it feel doing that? It was nice because no one knew what it is. And it was like, but like there's partners that sometimes it, like I can't read, like write that well. And then it's like hard to like it, tell them what it is, it, like in front of a short of period of amount of time. So that's why I wanted to do the presentation. And how did you feel, Miriam, when she was giving her presentation? Um, I felt like, well, I didn't really know, but I knew that even though I didn't have it, I could still acknowledge people that do. Um, you all did a great interview. Um, I'm excited that you're going to get to go on break in a couple days. Actually, you know what? I have one more question for you. I have one more question for you. We didn't practice this one. Okay. New Year's Eve's coming up. Do you guys have any resolutions that you want to make? What do you think about the new year? What does that mean to you? Does that mean anything? Yeah. It's like just a new year to start things out. Yeah. Just to try new things. Try new things. Yeah. What are you going to try? Either of you? Like a goal, maybe. A goal? Okay. What goal? What do you think? I have a Jurassic, so I really wanted to make a goal for that and to get better at dyslexia. Okay. Gymnastics, get better at dyslexia, and you're reading and writing, right? Yeah. Get better at reading and writing. Okay, cool. Um, Miriam, what about you? Well, I am a competitive dancer, and I am really close to getting my aerial, so next year I would like to get my aerial. Okay, 2023. We're going to improve on reading and writing. We're going to improve on gymnastics. And you're going to get what in your competitive dancing? Um, an aerial. An aerial in your competitive dancing. Okay, cool. That's great. What do I want to do? Okay, I just want to, I want to watch you guys do that goal. That's my goal. And I want, I want to watch you make your hair less wild. <laughs> okay, well. What about now? No? No. no. <laughs> okay, now we just say goodbye, okay? Bye. Bye.